sunglasses SAP Yuffie here and now I'm going to start to talk about a really alarming issue in Finland so um, if you actually want to get to a retirement in Finland so uh, I've, I've been on like non-permanent uh, rehabilitation retirement and not like a drug rehab just rehabilitation for uh, to get me working I've never worked in my life but uh, yeah so uh, what are they are proposing to me now is like uh, that they would uh, give me a permanent rehabilitation retirement what is a permanent rehabilitation retirement it's like uh, they are not gonna rehabilitate me in any way but it's retirement but it's just rehabilitation like it's uh, I fail if I don't get to work but uh, I'm retired so I don't have to work so it's like twisted but uh, why am I talking about this so in Finland you need to be like on the dead store to get to retirement you, be, you need to be half dead for them to give you like a retirement for physical issues there are a lot of pain patients and there are a lot of people that are actually who go to work and try to work they get depressed they don't want to work and they just can't work because it's the rat race it's satan's world order it's depressing it's not meant for humans it's meant for demons to i enjoy yeah the suffering <laughs> enjoy the suffering of humankind yeah we place our young people to like uh, cut grass so that uh, it looks neat but uh, who cares if the grass looks neat or not like why does it need to look everywhere like it's a golf course like uh, when people get more advanced we just uh, like before we would all just be farmers now that the big companies are farmers we need to like invent jobs for people let's let's make them cut grass there is no reason to cut the grass <laughs> we can walk even if the grass is tall we can walk through it it's not that big of a deal and this it, this it doesn't look so bad if it doesn't look like a golf course I, I, I feel pity when I see those young guys just cutting the grass so that it, some wise guy said that uh, I don't know his name or remember it anymore but uh, he said that cities are designed that a middle-aged man likes what he sees when he drives through it with a car so that's why the like the <laughs> grass needs to look neat because the one se millisecond that the guy looks uh, the middle-aged guy looks out of the window of the car and sees the grass he wants to see a golf course there so but that's not like the issue uh, like uh, well it kinda is like we have these uh, jobs that are uh, like unnecessary there are a lot of robotics nowadays that could be like a, like a, almost all storage like related jobs could be replaced with robots but no we need the people to be there so that they don't be like uh, maybe reading Bible or thinking. They can't be thinking. They need to be working. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying the Bible is like uh, you need to get Bible in hand so that you can uh, like be a Christian. But I'm a Christian, so of course I promote Christianity. But by reading Bible is not needed for it the Holy Spirit is but uh, Bible is a plus so uh, but uh, I'm getting off track here even if this is always always my track is Christianity but uh, I'm talking about retirement and the issues with what comes with it so like 
people are wanted to be working now matter what we need to like invent even like the like unworthy jobs for people to to get them to be working like all the time because it's it's the money it's everyone needs to get the money and they would even need to like uh, cut grass so that every day that it looks like a golf course so that they get money you know, like but the, golf, the grass doesn't need to be cut but the people need money so it's like it's not it's not worth it and like uh, there are like two guys in uh, in this uh, together club it's for mental patients that I visit uh, like I have been on a like vacation for two weeks from there since the two uh, workers that are employed there are both on vacation and like it starts again on Monday so last weekend on vacation but there are like two guys who just they just couldn't handle work life they are not mentally sick any anyway but they couldn't handle it and like this other guy he's my friend now he's he's the older man who paints we'll call him painter if we need a name for him but uh, the painter is like um he used to work like a uh, five years in sweden and when he came to finland like he was told that uh in sweden if you want uh, a retirement you need to have schizophrenia and this he uh, had this uh, like a uh, not really a, a doctor that you could uh, trust untrustworthy quack doctor who just said that well this is our custom that you can get the like uh, retirement without a uh, mental illness like uh, like uh, like you need to have like a serious mental illness so you need to have like a uh, uh, schizophrenia so I'll write you a schizophrenia and uh, he wrote schizophrenia and he even wrote like sedatives for the guy and the guy got like uh, hooked up on sedatives because of course even I I even if I have this opiate medication because of my eye problem I use sedatives uh, to boost the, uh, the opiate bandage but uh, when I had uh, like uh, sedatives without any kind of pain uh, I quit that medication because I found out that it makes you addicted to it and this guy did the same he's a Christian too he didn't want to be addicted to a, like a medication for no reason but then they pushed uh, the, like uh, they pushed the oh what was it oh 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 work brain work they pushed that one diagnosis schizophrenia medication to him like uh yeah so this guy he is just saying that he doesn't want to work work is it's it doesn't sit fit well with him he becomes depressed so they are like okay we make you uh, uh like um we'll, we'll just say that you're uh, schizophrenic and then uh, they give him like a uh, like drug medication and the guy wants to get off drugs so then they like read oh you're a schizophrenic we are starting to give you schizophrenia medication and now this guy we have been talking like and he's he's thinking that uh like uh i'm gonna quit it i'm gonna quit the schizophrenic medication and i'm really really proud of my friend the painter he, he really needs to get off that medication even he if he has some kind of uh mental issues it's not schizophrenia that this quack doctor just invented to get this guy on uh like uh what it's called uh, like retirement yeah 
and I don't like to speak from like a people before I moved to Lapland from central Finland. Uh, I don't consider that I have many friends there anymore. One exactly, who is uh, like a Russian born, like Russian, but born in Finnish uh, Finland uh, guy who uh, like uh, is my yo- younger brother's one uh, daughter. <laughs> His only daughter's uh, godfather, so he's like family. So that's the only guy who I keep in touch with. Uh, but uh, there was this one guy who don't, I don't like to talk about because I kind of don't like him. But uh, his tale is the same. They would uh, like. Uh, he had like a back problem, so they would like uh, he. But the back problem doesn't mean anything. So uh, they would say to him that uh, if you take this uh, like uh, bipolar, uh, like by bipolar diagnosis, then we will give you a retirement. And he took the bipolar like uh, without second thought. He want the retirement. And then they started to medicate him with bipolar medication. And I don't know, maybe he had actually the bipolar. Uh, because bef- he, when he quit the medication, he became an intolerable person. And very unbalanced person. Or the medication did it strict and he didn't just handle, couldn't handle himself anymore after that. But anyways, the point, I don't want to talk about this person, but I want to talk about the practice of offering, like, um, offering persons, uh, re- like, my, I have unknown eye problem, I'm like, my eyes are fine, and there is nothing wrong in my brain, they have, like, pictured it, but, uh, yeah, I, I still need the medication and I still need the glasses and uh, like, that's not enough. You have a, um, like, me- well, I kinda get it, it's not enough, but there are people that have like back problems, there are people who become depressed. I'm, I, I, I become depressed if I am forced to go to work. I want like, think, I'm, I'm thinking about like, I never would myself I, I, I like uh, since but I said I think about it that's not like a, I need to like edit that away uh, since but uh, <laughs> you know I'm I'm a Christian I'm like against self often I'm against self unliving send self unliving 100% I would never do it but I become depressed when I think about I need to work like on a job that I don't want to do I don't uh, contribute to Christian God in any way in that job and I, I think that my life is worthless and I want to unlive myself but I would never do it that's not the way to heaven so um and it's forbidden for a Christian, and I don't have the guts to do it anyways. And that's for certain. And that's a good thing, nobody should help. But, uh, yeah, there are many reasons why someone decides to unlive themselves, but, uh, so you never know the reasons behind this issue, so you can't generalize that every unliving thing is bad thing. If someone just does it for reasons that are too vague for uh, like a person to live on, who are we to actually say that that was a wrong decision? You can't generalize it this like a uh, big of a deal yeah it's like it's just like that it's it's too individual individual every person is unique 
but uh, yeah, so enough of that, but I uh, guess I would qualify that I get a little bit depressed if I'm forced to work on a job that I don't want to work. And like a Finnish priest, my both grandmother said I would become a priest, but uh, it takes six years to study to become a priest. After you're a priest, you can say what church allows you to say. So I don't think that uh, my grandmas who uh, didn't know about each other but said that I would become a priest when I was a child. I want to kind of like uh, uh, do the prophecy honor by doing this YouTube and keeping it really Christian. Like really it's not a joke uh, that it's a Christian channel, but uh, like one uh, YouTuber used to joke about that this is a Christian channel, no swearing. Well I try not to swear and this is actually a Christian channel. But yeah, it's it's just sad how the, sta the state of the medical practice is in Finland. And like uh, I'm suffering from a lot of uh, a lot from the medical practices. There are even like I have this pain medication. It was on like 40 milligrams. I was afraid to go to doctor because there is nowadays the doctors. They are like. Um, uh, it started, what I read about, it started on like 20, 2022 and like people because like drug users are dying to opiates, like 75% of drug users are trying, dying to opiates, what I read, but uh, I can't quote it on, uh, I don't know if I can find the page again, but uh, still we know that the, Opiates are easily available and people die a lot to them that we don't need to like find a, Well, you can find <laughs> very easily uh, like something that uh, like uh, Gives this validation, but uh, so the doctors want to like uh, They want to like have the opiates of the streets so who are like of course, I, you could say that the drug users are uh, like they are suffering, but I don't care. <laughs> Your withdrawal, withdrawal will go away, but my pain doesn't go away. So um, I was afraid to go to doctor to uh, since I knew that since I had my I have la I had like so I have like pain from. Uh, light and concentration on my right eye only and so I when I had like 30 milligrams I would uh, have pain on the nights but I had like uh, my sedatives raised to two like uh, tablets a day so I thought that uh, I had only pains at night so maybe I could like drop uh, the opiate back to 30 and I did now, uh, even out of fear, I was like afraid of a year for it. And now, because I knew that if I go there, the doctor starts to uh, try to drop it all the way. And yeah, he started to do that. He offered me, uh, firstly, he offered me uh, like sleeping pills. What? I I'm, I'm gonna sleep all the day. Oh, and then he offered me... Uh, like antipsychosis medication because I have this personality psychosis oriented personality disorder. Well, and I even said that I don't have it, and he was like, "No, it's just because uh, you. Uh, it's just that you get used to the like to the pain or something like that." Like the eye is really sensitive. I have this medication because nothing else has worked and this guy is just dreaming. He's in dreamland when he thinks I'm off the meds with his uh, like 
these uh, like mild medications and they don't work so uh, I'm gonna keep this short I'm in trouble and I need to like actually fight I'm fighting now uh, to get the, uh, the uh, my retirement plan ruined I don't want to be called a madman because I don't want to work so I'm, I'm gonna get I have like HDHC ADD family so um, my siblings have like been diagnosed with those diagnoses so I can't get that diagnosis because I have such a high medication on pain so I want healthy person's papers and they are not gonna like they are like sharks when they have like snap you in their jobs they don't want to like lo let loose you are crazy for the rest of your life if they want it but uh, I'm not gonna take it uh, like like my friend, he doesn't take it anymore. He's gonna fight that he's not a schizophrenic. Even he's not, he's really not. It's just uh, for the retirement. And I'm just becoming uh, like before when I went to the uh, like psychiatrist and I said I want like healthy person's papers. They were like, don't worry about your diagnosis, it doesn't affect anything. Now it affects if I get a uh, like retirement or not and I don't want retirement Finland just plays a game where like all Scandinavia plays a game where every person who uh, doesn't want to work is they are like making well those are the madmen they don't want to work because they are mad this is like they say that Finland always wins with the happiest country in the world and the happiest country doesn't count the people who are uh, like depressed because they don't want to work because those are the madmen let's not count them in they they give mad answers let's ask about the uh, the normal people who love to work and they just uh, write there so that they don't become depressed i'm really happy this is like uh, they like try to talk themselves to be happy when they write those like I'm really happy everything is perfect when I work from every day from 8 to 3 for, for nothing but money <laughs> that makes me so happy this this is this is a this is the whole Scandinavia, Finland, the, the welfare is it's, it's lie, it's lie, the welfare. I would rather be again a welfare bum rather than be labeled a madman just to get a like a retirement. So, but we will end it at that so this doesn't drag on if you want to talk about retirement things like a pain if you want to talk about mental disease give me a shout and that's about it and if you want to talk about uh, unjust uh, world government led by satan who uh, actually uh, tries to make it look like only the sick people, sick in the head people don't want to work in this perfect utopia of a society <laughs> then give me a shout also but um, yeah that's about it so I thank you very much for listening to the end and goodbye <laughs>